We just finished up talking about the feeder house and so now we're going to continue on with crop flow through the machine. The next piece we encounter is the transition cone. The transition cone has veins inside that we want to take a look at every once in a while and make sure that they're not worn out, that they're not bent or damaged from foreign objects coming through. With our feeder house or with our concave modules out, we can see kind of down in there and we can get a look at some of them. Some of them are hidden, we can't see it all, but we want to check that every once in a while. As crop continues to flow through, the next thing we encounter is our, our rasp bars and concaves. We want to, at this point, it's very important to check that the pinch point calibration has been done on the frame. That ensures that the crop moves evenly through the rotor tube as it progresses toward the rear. At this point, we also want to look at, our, at the wear that we see on our rasp bars. These rasp bars are held in place by a single bolt. And when we start to see that the rasp bars are kind of getting weared on the leading edge and that the head of our bolt is starting to get smaller and is getting worn off slick, that's the time we need to be changing those. While we're in here looking at our rasp bars, we need to peek up in here and look at our cage veins. We've got some front stationary veins. We also have some rear veins that can be moved by electronic actuator. We need to make sure that the veins are good and straight and not bent. We also need to make sure that our actuator hardware is all tight and free moving. Once we get done with that, then we put our concaves back on and check our hardware, make sure our hardware is all tight and straight. Once we get on that done and we're in this area, we wanna make sure to come over here to our rotor shift lever right here and give it a couple of shifts to make sure the linkage stays free and clear. While we're in this region of the combine, we're gonna talk about this unloading auger drive, the ver lower vertical gear case. The lower vertical gear case has a sight glass on the back side of the, of the housing, and we want to check that to make sure, for one, that it's filled with the proper level of oil, but also it's a good place for moisture to enter and uh, due to it sitting inside the vertical auger cavity, and we want to make sure that that oil is not milky, and if it is, then it's definitely time that we need to flush and change that oil. Next, we're going to go over to the chopper drive pulleys. Back here in our chopper drive area, we're going to check a few things while we're up here. One thing we want to check is our counter knife lever. We want to move that up and down a time or two to make sure that it will move. Um, if it binds up on us, that's a good indication that we could have some damaged knives inside or we, should, we could have some crop buildup that needs to be cleaned out. Also in this area behind the, our hydraulic control valve and our rotor shift lever, uh, that is a really good area for crop material to build up during harvesting and it's also it could be a potential hazard so we want to make sure that that area gets cleaned out regularly daily if we can. Also behind the chopper pulleys back here we have another area that's prone to, prone to crop build up and we want to make sure that we get that area cleaned out as well. Uh, if we can do that daily that's great because once the crop material gets piled up here it's so much easier to get rid of and blow out while it's nice and fluffy and dry as opposed to if we wait a few days and it collects moisture and it's all, all packed in there.